Yo, what up everybody? It's, uh, you know who it is. It's Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Just me and my boy D-Wade kicking it back in Miami. How it's supposed to be, baby! I can't tell you how happy I am. Alright, uh, let's do 2017 Illusions Football. Inner case number 23 for eBay. Let's do it. Alright, I should have it on the screen. There it is. And here's the inner. Let's get to it. You know, you know the deal. If you're in this break, come through. Let me know what teams you got. Ed, you got a you got a few teams in flawless baseball, don't you? I'm just gonna stack that up and let uh, Abraham do the work. Good luck, everybody. Let there be hits for everyone. Here we go. All right. Randall knows the play. My man wants some Vikings. Let's get it. I already know what he wants. He wants a little Delvin Cook in his life. My man G-Man wants some Giants in his life. I could have put that one together. What's up, man? What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to the room. Your boy, Uncle Jesse. AKA Cardboard Moses. And if you want me to lead you to some more of the promised land, guys, visit ripcitycards.com. My man Maggot Meat wants some Seahawks. I'm going to hook him up with that in this break. And if you guys want to get some more breaks going, check out ripcitycards.com so you can see what we have in stock. Right now, I have some flawless baseball. I got a pre sale going of a full case of plates and patches football. That product comes out tomorrow. But you can secure your spot today. And if you've never made a purchase on our website, all you got to do is visit ripcitycards.com, click login at the top right of the screen, then click register, fill all that info out. Once you're done, we'll automatically email you a code that'll save you $15 off your first website purchase. Do keep in mind that code is only good on our website, which is uh, ripcitycards.com. All right, guys. So like I said, if you've never made the purchase on our website, register for an account, save 15 bucks, and let's get let's keep the party rolling. Uh four at you, my man. You you gotta learn how to read, bro. They uh comes out next week. Somebody said in the chat, comes out next week. Read, man, read. Alright, here we go. See what happens here. We got Joe Williams of the Niners with a patch. Seahawks. What is this? A dual autograph number to 25. Tyler Lockett and Amara Darbo of the Seahawks. That is nice. Let me grab my top loaders now. This is a 55. Man, somebody blowing my phone up right now. Somebody must want the diggity. I don't know. Anyways, it's probably bill collectors. You owe me such and such. All right, mom. There we go. There's that. All right, let's keep it moving. Got a redemption for Taiwan Taylor. That'll go to the Titans. The first impression memorabilia auto. Who's blowing me up, man? Oh, that's the tender. Hey. Anyway. Put that away. I don't really need to top load that. I'll just put that here. What else we got? What's up, Todd? How are you? Who is this? Nice! Number 7 out of 50. This card is now a lot more better. You know why? Because he is the defensive rookie of the year. 
Marshawn Lattimore. Saints is uh, Saints is uh, gonna be pricey. Uncle Jesse better breaker than Jason. Now that is complete and total horseshit for at you. I'm sorry, Chase. No, I am not. How dare you respect the master? How? Said that I'm a better breaker than Jason. That's bullshit. Yeah, hey, new kids on the block for show. You guys got to learn your history. There would be no cardboard Moses if there was not a cardboard Jesus to birth the Moses. That's that's my that's my daddy right there. Through immaculate conception, uh, to one hundred Joshua Dobbs of the Steelers. Uh, I believe that's a one twenty. Sounds like a product. Immaculate conception. <laughs> what would you use it for? <laughs> Got a random this. Steelers and Raiders. If guys, would you buy a product called Immaculate Conception? And what what would it be though? It, it had I, I I just I think all I can think of is just like like sh like a shampoo or like something like that like it's it's got to be a creamy substance maybe like some maybe like soul glow instead of soul glow call it immaculate conception well for you I'm not referring to the play the immaculate con Actually, I think it's called the Immaculate Reception, not the Immaculate Conception. I don't think Franco Harris gave birth to a football when he caught it. But yes, cl close enough. Immaculate Conception kind of sounds like uh, like an off-brand Viagra, or like a off like a knockoff brand for like a, a condom or something. Want to pretend like you're protecting yourself? Use immaculate conception. We don't know where that baby came from either. That'd be like the commercial. Whose baby that is? Immaculate conception. All right, four at you later. Go do your homework. How many, I'm on the second box of this. All right. It's uh, throwing me off the fact that you guys can see me now. But I figured it's it's about time. I can no longer afford to like pick my nose. Maybe somebody wants to see my reactions to some of these cards. I don't know. That, and I think it's kind of funny when I post the video and you see my face on there. People are going to be like, who's that? Who the f who is that fucking Moana looking motherfucker breaking guards? Let me click on that. That's usually how I go. If I, if I see a YouTuber, like the crazier looking they are, the more inclined I am to click on their channel. I go, oh, that guy looks like he might cut himself. Kind of want to see if he is. What it do, Jonathan Tong? What break you in, my man? Todd wants some Cowboys mojo. Uh, I'm feeling it. Got a Colts mojo, though, here. Jack Doyle. Doyle rules! Shout out to if you know that movie. It's only one of the greatest pieces of cinema ever. You're in Ascension. Ascension is coming up right after this at 9 o'clock. After this, I'm doing a, a box of Dynasty Baseball. But you're the Ascension is scheduled for 9 o'clock. My main. Let's see what else we got here. This dude had a pretty sick catch in the Super Bowl. To 150, Chris Hogan of the Patriots. Patriots with a hit right here. Billy Madison, G Man. Did we just become best friends? Yo, I, I think that what the world needs is more Adam Sandler movies. Good old wholesome movies like Big Daddy. 
Ray Lewis. Whoa, that doesn't belong there. <laughs> I thought that was a dummy card. <laughs> what do we got here? We got a Wayne Gallman first impression memorabilia auto. That goes to the Giants. I was about to yawn. I played it off, though. There you go, Giants with a little hit. Get in, get in there. Force it up in there. All right. So now that we're not watching any football, how many of you guys going to start watching basketball? If you're not already watching basketball, you should. Because this year's rookie class is ridiculous. Kenny G to one hundo for the Lions. Nah. Mm, sorry, nothing in that box. That box took a, a while to do. You're watching the Toronto New York game. How do they how do the, how do the Knicks look without Porzingis? What to do, rah rah? Well, listen, Kevin, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Duke, North Carolina. Now that's a good game. I might want to watch that, but I can't really do that because I'm doing this. My man Dan Hauk wants to see some Jaguars. Are you in this illusions break on eBay, Dan? Oh, so Kevin's not even acknowledging me. Okay. See how it is, Kevin. See how it is. Oh, the Olympics start tomorrow. So that's why they want me to go to... Uh, I don't even know where the Olympics are at. That's sad. All right, let's get you something nice, Dan. Nick's not looking good. Yeah, I could have... I could have figured that. Uh, yes, John uh, Joseph, this is eBay. I got the break up there. We're doing Illusions Football, number 23. I got invited to the Olympics. They wanted me to be the torchbearer. But then I was like, nah. But I should have gone. That'll be that'll be the day. And now presenting the fire for the I don't know what they call that ceremony, but I'm just talking shit. And now presenting the fire for the Olympics, Uncle Jesse, aka Cardboard Moses, aka your favorite breaker's favorite breaker, aka the people's breaker, aka oh mama there goes that breaker. A.K.A. Damn, ain't he a breaker? A.K.A. Hey, I seen him on YouTube. You get the point. So, they, they, you know, maybe next time. Alvin Kamara with a napkin for the Saints. Offensive Rookie of the Year. RPA for the Giants. Where were you in Vertex? Evan Ingram with an RPA. <sighs> Now you guys can also see me yawn. Hey, there's that. I do that a lot. Because these lights fucking put me to sleep. I'm about to blow those lights up and just put, like, install black lights and, and rip with that. Get get the little, set the mood. Alright, set in the mood for the Packers. Kevin King. Auto numbered 1 out of 25. eBay 101. There you go. Muy uh, a bueno. Would this be right here? Got Pierre Garcon to one fifty for the Niners. Get in there. Let's 
What do we have here? Deshaun Watson with a napkin for the Texans. That would have been nice if it was uh, an RPA. They do have box toppers, G-Men. Uh, I don't open them until the end of the break, though. Just, you know, to build a little suspense. This has to get randomed. Oh, I refuse to say that man's name. Nothing there. What is that? There go. What is that? There it is. All right. You feel me, G-Man? Just, you know what I'm saying? Make you, make you think about it. Make you think about it. And who knows? Maybe the cardboard gods will throw something nice in there for, for our patients. You know, pay a little tribute. If you will. Am I getting basketball for the store anytime soon? Uh, yes, I'm working on getting us some basketball. Uh, I'm trying to get some court kings. Or some more absolute basketball. But I think there's a... I think there's a new basketball product coming out in like a week or two. So I gotta, gotta check on that. Dude, rah rah! I'm glad you brought it up, man. Uh, I I think honestly, I think the Cavaliers got a lot better. Uh, I felt like the pickups they had in the in the off season on paper they looked good, but as you guys can see, did not pay dividends. Um, I do think the Cavaliers got better. I don't like the trade for the Lakers, honestly. Because now, now you got a bit of a conundrum. Before, you had a team that was straight young players. <sighs> and now, you got Isaiah Thomas who, you know, thinks that he's a top five player. MVP candidate. He's going to want to demand the ball. So, I don't know. The chemistry for that team is probably going to go to shit. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the trade for the Lakers. I really like it for the Cavaliers. Uh, you know, what they got in return, pretty decent. You know, things considered. But you know who I really like the trade for? The Miami Heat, <laughs> baby. We got D-Wade back. Oh, yes. That's what I'm saying. You know, Isaiah Thomas is going to take Kuzma's Ingram shots. He's going to take up a, a bunch of people's shots. So, I don't like I don't like the trade for the Lakers. I I really like it for the Cavs, but I love it for the Heat. D Wade back in the Heat uniform, man. You don't understand how big that is for the city. By the way, that was a Kenny G RPA that I just uh, pulled, uh, not numbered. For the Steelers to one fifty, Cameron Hayward. The auto. D Wade is the greatest of all time. In a heat uniform for sure. That's gonna be an emotional return. I'm telling you right now. I'm 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 actually I have the day off tomorrow. Maybe if I give enough handies I can I, or a panhandle enough, I can get some moolah so I can go to the heat game. Yeah, I only need to come up with like 20, 30 bucks. It's pretty cheap to get into the game. Depends on who we play. Number to one hundo, Malik Hooker for the Colts. Well, Kevin, you got to keep in mind that uh, LeBron, the man's been playing for how long, dude? He's not getting any younger. If I had to, if I had to make a choice between Kuzma and Ingram versus LeBron. I know this sounds crazy, but if I'm in a rebuilding mode, I'm choosing Ingram and, and Kuzma. You know, nine times out of ten. 
that 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 one time that I picked LeBron, I'm I'm probably really high. Because that's what you would have to be to pick LeBron over Kuzma and Ingram. Le- le- listen, how how much longer is LeBron going to play in the league? Like, for reals. Uh, I think it's a scary thought, but I think LeBron is probably going to play maybe five or six more years in the league. The, the guy's not getting any younger. And, and eventually, you know, going to the, going to the finals... You know, going into July, playing hard basketball for the last eight, nine, ten years. I mean, come on, you know that that's going to take a toll on his body. Not not to not to mention the fact, you know, he also had his uh, his Olympic runs. So that dude is pretty much playing basketball all year long, man. Le'Veon Bell Steelers patch. Well, the Lakers have nobody to blame by themselves for giving Kobe Bryant those ridiculous contracts at the end of his career, which they were pretty much stimulus packages to Kobe, you know, paying homage to him or, or whatever, but I wouldn't have paid them. Dude, Kobe really fucked that franchise, and no one's talking about it. Nobody's talking about it. But, you know, if the... If the if the Lakers, instead of paying Kobe Bryant all that extra money that he did, you know, they still got Lou Dang, who they're paying, you know, some decent money on him. Lake, that's why the Lakers are going to make major moves next season. These are the box toppers, by the way. Uh, you know, they're going to clear up a lot of cap space for next season. So we shall see. But Kobe definitely deserves the moolah. But... If you guys want to know the reason why the Lakers have been trash as long as they have, you got to blame Kobe. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Paying a dude $20 million a season, and he probably played like maybe 20 games. Oh no, five rings for show. Listen, don't get me wrong. His legacy is secure. Arguably the third best basketball player to ever play the game. Top five for sure. It can be argued. Uh, but I got, I got man, at the end of his career though, the last you know, the last two, three years, the guy, he was barely playing, man. And he was getting paid. Anyways, let's see what's in this football. We got Josh Reynolds, RPA, for the Rams. Did anybody see the parade for the Eagles, by the way? Since uh, we are doing a football break. I know football season's over, but, you know, talk a little football shit. I was getting updates on my phone of like somebody like some like a player was dressed up like like weird at the parade or something. I don't know. Nine hundred panini points. That's a lot of panini points. Uh, but I still don't like panini points. But there they are going to somebody that'll go random. Um, shout outs to whoever annoys me putting those cards backwards and then forward. Oh god, such a pain in the ass. All right, got to random this bad boy to the 100. Even if you have two of the three teams, still got to random it. If you got all three teams, you ain't got to worry about it. Julio Jones, Amari Cooper, and Odell Beckham, that has to get randomed. Another one to random to 25, Chris Godwin Books or Darius Stewart Jets. Also has to get randomed. What do we have here? Another card to random. Nothing here. There. Who's that knocking on the dough? I hope I hope Mario ordered pizza or something. I'm fucking hungry. 
Oh, there's a giant in here. It's Carl Banks, numbered 8 out of 25 for the Giants. The Giants would have hit right there. Nothing there. All right, we're past the halfway marker. Got three boxes left. It's taking longer than usual. As you can see, I'm top loading everything. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I want to take my clothes off. Or at least my hoodie. Alright. There's that. Well, I broke a nail just now. Kind of. Cause it's cold in here. Sometimes it gets cold in this office, so that's why I'd be rocking the hoodie. It's always hot in Miami for the most part. I did enjoy those those three days we went where it was cold though. That was cool. Shout outs to the bomb cyclone for making it cold down here for a while. A bomb cyclone. You can't just call it a blizzard. Like blizzard sounds badass as it is. No, it's it's a bomb cyclone. What? It sounds like some kid who eats Tide Pods came up with that name. It's kind of a bomb cyclone. Let me get a let me get a let me get a Tide Pod. So one hundo, nice three color patch on that Josh Reynolds of the Rams. Your boy Jimmy G, rah rah. I know you're. Uh, I know you don't like that move. I know you uh, still feel some kind of way about that one. Especially the way your ba your boy Brady caught that football. Oh, that's right, he didn't catch that football. That boy getting old, forty years old. The Vertex Break JG was fucking booty. Uh, not gonna mince any words on that. It was it was not good. Unless you had uh, unless you had the Raiders, the Vikings, Bucks had some nice hits, but I mean nothing nothing ridiculous. Niners will be Super Bowl contenders next year. Those are big words. Dallas Cowboys to one hundo for the Cowboys. I don't think they're going to be contending for a Super Bowl just yet. Uh, but I do think they can possibly make the playoffs as a wild card. Uh, Raiders got a couple players there. Nothing I can remember right now. I think Howie Long was one of them. Uh, there were some other dudes there. Devontae Adams to 25. Patch for the Peakers. Brady's 30 years old in the pocket, 40 out the pocket. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Man, that guy had bro, that was a it was a good game. Like offensively, great game to watch. Defensively was tough. I like defense. So I'm sitting here like wondering, like, man, one of these boys gonna get who's gonna stop who? And the Eagles came up with a stop when they needed it. Patriots had a chance. They had several chances. But, uh, you know, cra crazy as this might sound, I think the Patriots got... They got outcoached. They got outplayed. The better team won, I think. Gerald Everett of the Rams. With that said, it was still a really close game. It, it was anybody's game. I think that uh, that Philly Philly uh, before the end of the half, where uh, where Big Dick Nick caught the football, 
that might have been a turning point. And yes, I did see the documentary. So that's how I know it's called the, the Philly Special. Philly, Philly. Bro, that was such a legendary play call. I was watching the Mic'd Up. There's like a Mic'd Up documentary. And, uh, you know, it's fourth down. They call the timeout. They're going to go for it. And uh, I guess the Eagles coach had an idea of a play to call. But before he even opens his mouth, Nick Foles is like, you want a Philly Philly? And Doug, I think his name is Doug. He looks, the Eagles coach looks at, he looks at Nick and he stares at him like for a good two, three seconds and doesn't say anything. He just like looks at him. He's like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. What a legendary call, man. Big Dick Nick. As he, I think he'll forever be known as that in Philadelphia. That guy's going to have free dilly dillies anytime he's in Philly. For calling that Philly special. Legendary move. But people forget the Patriots called that the exact same play before the Eagles. But because Brady didn't catch it, no one talks about it. But I did enjoy seeing it in slow-mo. And all the memes that came out of it. Oh my god. The internet is undefeated, bro. They need to make a shooting stars meme out of Tom Brady. What's what's everyone's favorite meme right now? I like the shooting stars. You know the the one the one with that song, where like they're going through space. Sometimes they'll put it like with some atomic particles or something. it's just so weird, but it's so funny. I don't understand why. I might need to see a doctor. I am, I am. I, I got to see a doctor again tomorrow. Niners will start off 9-0 and next year. That depends who they play. There's a lot of factors. Ra Ra, why are you so big on the Niners right now? Do you know the weight? Is that your favorite uh, meme right now? Do you know the weight? I like the shooting stars one, man. Beep, 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 beep. And they have like those dudes going through space. Oh my god. I like those memes that come out of nowhere. That's why I really like the the, the shooting stars memes. Kelvin Benjamin Panthers. I know do eight. Cooper Cup of the Rams knows the way for the Rams. Because it goes to the Rams. Did I mention that goes to the Rams? Cooper Cup. With a patch. That's a one of one, if I'm not mistaken. For the Giants and the Redskins. Oh boy. Ra Ra. I think you might be on to something, bro. I, I I'm gonna have to agree with you. That's one on one mojo right there. Wayne Gallman, Giants, and Samai Perrine, Redskins. Uh, yeah, that has to get randomed. That has to get randomed. That's going to be a tough one to random, too. That is nice. Decent. Camera doesn't know justice. Alright, let's keep it moving. Rick Beasley. So what makes you say that the Patriots are going to start declining, Ra Ra? I mean, they, they still got Belichick. You know, they lost Patricia, but whatever. His defense was garbage this year. That has to get random. You know, there, there was some business there, but McDaniel stayed with the Patriots. So I think the Patriots are going to be fine as long as Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are still getting checks from Robert Kraft. Gronk is not going to retire. That's that's that that's him being a, a, a brat, sore loser right now. That boy is not going to retire. Unless his injuries really are that bad. If Gronk retires, then Patriots are in trouble. Sidney Jones for the Eagles. Eagles got good problems on the other hand. 
Like, what are they going to do with Nick Foles? Are they going to trade him? Are they going to keep him? Are they going to pay him? You know, there's there's some decisions to be made out there, but good problems to have. If I were them, I would keep Nick Foles. You never know. You never know with these injuries. To one hundo for the Packers, Jamal Williams, the RPA. I need some top loaders for that. I think I got some here. You think Foles is gone? I mean, I you know, if they are going to trade him, now is the time to do so while his uh, stock is sky high. Maybe get a draft pick for him. Who knows? Dolphins should definitely, definitely be making moves because Ryan Tannehill ain't, ain't the answer. All right, last box mojo here. We did get us a little one on one, but it has to get random. We got a couple things to random. I got 900 Panini points, 600 Panini points, uh, a few patches that have to get random, the matching numbers, and I still haven't opened the box toppers either. So we're almost done, but we still got some goodies to get to. Right after this break, I got Dynasty Baseball. Let's get it. I need boxes to put all this stuff away. Oh, Skeeter. You might skeet when you see this one. It's my baby, Shannon Elizabeth. Who uh, can sign for shit, but with a with a girl that fine, she, she don't got to sign nothing. But this dude. Alright, anyway. A couple more packs here. That's the chick from American Pie. The, the foreign exchange student, Nadia, I think was her name, the character anyway. She's old now, but she could still get, uh, I'd still want a piece of that American Pie, Ra Ra. Tell me you wouldn't either. Look her up right now and tell me, yeah, you break you break her off with a monster box or two, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Dante Foreman, Texans. Napkin. 44 years old, and uh, you know what they say, man. The older the berry, the sweeter the juice, man. Man, it's the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yeah, she blacker than a motherfucker, too. <laughs> I love that movie. Ah, first impression memorabilia auto, Kareem Hunt. That goes to the Chiefs. That's a nice card. Again, so nice, they haven't even printed it yet. There you go, Chiefs. Yeah, I would give her a solid 10 for sure. You've been collecting autographs since the 70s? Damn, bro. Oh, no, she's, yeah, she's definitely not young. But again, that's not going to, you know, stop me from giving her this. You know where I'm going with that. I don't have to finish that rhyme. Anyway. Number three out of five. Jordan Willis of the Bengals. That's not bad. Three out of five. That's a pretty low number. There's going to be a few things to random here. Check this one out. Got Chiefs and the Colts. Kareem Hunt, Marlon Mack. Dual Relic. Two different teams got to random it. Even if you own both teams, it doesn't matter. I still got to random it. And the reason I say it doesn't matter is because if you own both teams, it's yours. You don't have to worry about it. But for video purposes, it's got to get done. All right. For the Eagles, nice one right here. 8 out of 10, Fletcher Cox. 
Oh, yeah. Super Bowl champ right there. So who thinks the Eagles are going to repeat next year? I think they can. I think they can. Almost done, and we are done with the break. All right, no chance, really. Rara, it's Philly. Damn, no love, no love. I mean, of course, you'd say that because you lost to him, but I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right, before I do the randoms. I do need to open up box toppers first. So let me go ahead and do that. JG, don't tell me how to do my job, man. Come on. Come on, JG. We got Sam Bradford to 100 for the Vikings. Danny Amendola, Patriots to 100. Derek Carter, one hundo for the Raiders. I thought the All Star game was this weekend. It's I think it's next weekend. Zeke Elliott to fifty for the Cowboys. There are autographs in these box toppers. Just really hard to get them. Jadavion Clowney, Texans. Oh right, yeah. There you go, G man. Jeremy Hill to 100 for the Bengals. No autograph here either. LaShawn McCoy for the Bills to 100. And auto in this one, maybe? Nah. It's Latavius Murray to 100 for the Vikings. So those are the box toppers. Now let's do some randoms. I want to random these real quick here. Simple random. There's a left and a right team on the front of the card. And that's who it's going to go to. I'm going to roll the die. If I get an odd number, it goes to the left team. If I get an even number, it goes to the right team. Did I say that right? Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. There we go. Odd left, even right. Good luck. We got the number four. Sorry, Dan. We'll get you in the next one, baby. So this is going to go to the right side team. So Packers, Steelers, Raiders, Packers, Giants, Titans, Rams, Texans. All right. Uh, let me write this down because I will forget. Right side teams. Boom. Boom. There we go. It's on the post it note so you know it's real. Now, let's do the 900 Panini points because it has to get random. We go ahead and grab the teams. Put it on the screen. That's not it. That's not it. There it is. Let's roll the die for for nine hundred Panini points. Let's roll. See how many times we're gonna go. We're gonna go two times. Nah, let's go twelve times. Decision made. Twelve times. Top team wins at nine hundred Panini points. Good luck. Going 12 times. And the money shot. Going to the Falcons. The 900 Panini points. Congrats, Falcons. At least you get you a little, a little something something. Falcons. I mean, doesn't really look like Falcons, but... It does go to the Falcons. Let me rewrite that. 
Because that is terrible. Oh my god. Anyway. There you go. Let's see if we can get you something nice, Skeeter. So 900 points going to the Falcons. Let's do this thing again. This time for 600 Panini points. We're going again 12 times. Here we go. And the money shot 12. Going to the Giants. So Giants win 600 Panini points. So there we go, Giants to 600 points. Now these next three, or the next two I should say, simple randoms for your boy. They're either going to go to the top team or the bottom team. Or, actually, to the left or the right team. You know the deal? Odd number left, even number right side. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Ooh, the number zero. That doesn't count. Let's keep going. We got the number six. So it's going to the right side team. So this goes to the Jets. What's he doing? He's riding on the card. Oh, my God. There we go. Going to the Jets. And this one goes to the Colts. He's going to ride on that one, too? <gasps> this guy's nuts. All right, there's that. Let's random this bad boy. Got three teams on this one. All right. So I do got to do the randomizer. I already rolled the die. I'm going to go 12 times. Just got to put the three teams on the list. We got Falcons, Raiders, and then we got the Giants. Going 12 times. Good luck. Twelve times, a money shot. Twelve, going to the Falcons. Congrats, Falcons! You win this triple relic: Julio Jones, Amari Cooper, Odell Beckham Jr. Number seventy out of one hundred, going to the Falcons. This guy's nuts, running on these cards. And now, last but definitely not least, got to random this bad boy. One on one mojo. For Redskins and Giants. Left or right team. You know the deal. Odd number left. Even number right. Good luck. Going to the left side team. Odd number nine. Odd left. Going to the Redskins. Congrats Redskins. Getting yourself a one on one mojo. There it is. It is done. Now let's do the recap of the autos. So we got Fletcher Cox, Eagles. Jordan Willis, Bengals. Chiefs, Kareem Hunt. It, it was. It's definitely a nine. Definitely a nine. Jamal Willis, sorry, G-Man. Joe, uh, Jamal Williams Packers, Sidney Jones Eagles, Gerald Everett Rams, Josh Reynolds Rams, Carl Banks Giants. Uh, yeah, I did it already, JG. Josh Reynolds Rams, Malik Hooker Colts, Cameron Hayward Steelers, Kenny G Lions, Pierre Garcon Niners, Kevin King Packers, Evan Engram Giants. Wayne Gallman Giants, Chris Hogan Patriots, Jack Doyle Colts, Marshawn Lattimore Saints. That's a sweet card. Taiwan Taylor Titans and a dual auto for Tyler Lockett, Amara Darbo. Yeah, JG. Come on, dog. I got this on lock already. JG. Giants get 600 Panini points. And the Falcons get 900 Panini points. 
I got this breaking thing on lock, JG. Come on now. Well, this thing is stuck on me. But anyway, that was the break, guys. 2017 Illusions Football Intercase number 23, eBay style. We'll get that out to you.